We had a total of 46 patients sort of included in the study. Um, we had in the, it was a comparative study actually. So we, we compared then standard of care, which most often is then plasma or plasma-based product. Uh, we compare that to Adzinma uh, in such a way that each patient had six months treatment with Adzinma and six months treatment with standard of care. So we, for each patient, we had like a comparison for each patient with both these products, which is a lot of advantages, especially when you have a relatively limited study population. So we had 36 or 38 patients in this comparative uh, exercise. <laughs> and um, we, we tried to measure then what is clinically most important for the patients. Um, I think it's fair to admit that when you do the first com controlled trial in a disease, <laughs> um, you can always look back and say, why did we do this? Why did we do that? But at the time when the trial was set up, uh, there was nothing similar that was ever being done. So we said, okay, these patients can obviously have acute events. So of course we want to measure the incidence of acute events. That's really, really important. <clears throat> but um, there is also then, let's say other indicators of disease activity uh, or uncontrolled disease, if I can call it that. And we also wanted to measure uh, those things. So like almost like a hallmark of this disease is that when you have an uncontrolled disease, your um, blood platelets are dropping. Um, and what happens is that actually the platelets get trapped in these blood clots. And that's why you have a drop in the platelets. So we, we measure then how often did the patient fulfill certain criteria for a drop in platelets. Uh, we also measured milder neurological symptoms like uh, tiredness, headache, um, um, and, and um, symptoms related to, to central nervous. We, we looked specifically at abdominal pain, which is quite commonly reported. And we also looked at kidney function which can be a marker of um, of disease uh, activity and something that long term is then a risk. Um, and what we found when we compared our data uh, between Adzinma and uh, Standard of Care was that um, during this comparative period, uh, we saw a big advantage for Adzinma in terms of this um, drop in platelets. So it seems that um, there is less of disease activity using this measurement when you're under treatment with Adzinma as compared to uh, plasma-based therapies. Um, we talked about this with uh, acute events. Um, and we were not sure how much of this we would see, but um, in the end, actually, there was only one acute event happening during this comparative period uh, when patients were treated with uh, standard of care. And, and we have seen zero acute events with, with Adzinma, uh, not only during the comparative period, but also more long-term. So it seems that Adzinma provides a very strong protection from acute events, but if you compare with standard of care, it's zero versus one, and it's hard to draw any firm conclusions. Um, we also looked at something that we called subacute events, which is then a combination of laboratory signs and symptoms because we said, well, all right, you can have these things, what we call isolated manifestations, 
patient report a headache or a drop in platelets or abdominal pain. Uh, and we counted all of those. Um, but we said, let, let's, let's look at if you have two or three of these combined together, but it's still not really an acute event. But that's what we then um, had as a measure of subacute um, events. And what we saw was that um, during these comparative periods, there were four patients who had five such, such subacute events uh, during treatment with standard of care, and there was zero with uh, adzinma. Um, so when we take these things together then, and also looking at the safety profile, uh, I, I guess that's what FDA did in the end. They were looking at this, what we call totality of evidence. Mm -hmm.